guys trying a kind of a new little video format here um so i just filmed <laughs> me working on uh last night sewing the buttons on Gehern's shirt that i um was sewing yesterday but uh um this uh, by the way jessica here <laughs> uh but um i have Gehern and uh he's been getting his clothes made uh this um this uh weekend today's monday um but uh so that's uh i'll show this a little more um a, a little bit here later in the in the movie i'll kind of move things around but um so i uh um wanted to i did want to i think this format was good to show the gifts um and some packages that came in uh and i and i wanted to show you guys um <clears throat> I got this really amazing package from um, from Tiffany and uh, 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 Tiffy BJD Crafts is her um, uh, is her I think that's her Etsy shop. I'll I'll put links below to her so that you can find her. Um, I need to I need to put in the links, but I she and she has a YouTube and she's been posting videos, which is really great. Um, love seeing i've been seeing her on instagram for quite a long time now um and it's really nice to see uh you feel like it's just like you feel like you've you've met them now <laughs> um so it's it's really nice i love it when people i've been following make videos because then i i feel like i got to meet them um that's very fun so this is a pair of um, magnetic antlers that she had sent me and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a um, a headband with flowers and I and I'm going to stick these on here because I really like them they're this this really pretty like translucent resin with sparkles and gold they're just really really pretty um, they're kind of long so and I have this problem when I make antlers like that that are really long um, so they kind of they don't hold their position well so I think if I affix these to a crown um, it'll really show them off really well so they're so pretty um, but uh, uh, I, I made a YouTube or excuse me I, um, an Instagram video when I opened the package um, so I'll insert that in here and you can you can watch that because it's probably the most complete it's what I have of the of the box opening and, and all the little fun goodies that she sent which I am so grateful for Um, it was just, it was, it was, it came at a really good time, a really, it came at a bad time, I guess I would say, it, and I really needed the pick-me-up, so thank you so much, mm -hmm. Tiffany, again. Um, I just really wanted to express that. Um, I've got, uh, I got another package in this weekend. Um, I had bought this head from Grievous Girl, um, and I don't know how the video is I think I'll have to hold things this way because it's upside down otherwise. <laughs> uh, but uh, so I bought this head from her, and um, this is a uh, um, is it Zaga doll? It's uh, X A G A. Um, it's on her her little um, Zaga, um, and she sent me this head, and the box um, it was super cute. Uh, I'll see if I can insert a picture of the box, but this was a picture that she had drawn of Edith. Um, it was a giveaway that she'd done a while ago on her Instagram, um, and uh, I won the, basically uh, to have my character drawn, I think. I think there were some other options too, I can't remember, um, but I chose, uh, asked her to draw Edith, and this was what she did. It's this digit. it's a digital image, but she printed it out and sent, and like, taped it on the box um 
It's so cute. So I cut it off very, very carefully because, and you can see the packing tape on it, but because I wanted to save it because isn't that wonderful? There were, there were, um, uh, stamps and things all over this, but I carefully removed them all so that I could preserve this and I'm going to keep it. Um, but I did want to show, this has a company face up, but she, she did some enhancements on it that I just really, really adore. And it's what, it's what sold me on it. You can see how she, she just did this little subtle painted these teeth in and when you look at it closely you can see that there aren't actually teeth but the way she painted it there over the company face up I it's just wonderful I just love it <laughs> um so uh I, you know no specific plans for this girl right now um uh eventually I'd like to do something with her I just wanted to really snag her up because I just I thought she was very charming um and uh um at some point I will work on her and do things. Uh, and that's one of the things I've kind of been feeling a little bit guilty about is not finishing these dolls. I've gotten some several things in. I've got these fantastic antlers from, um, oh, I'm gonna say her wrong, her name wrong. <laughs> it's Rotter, oh gosh. <laughs> it's so, it's, it's uh, she's so sweet. Rotter, Wolkenvogel? <laughs> Did I say that right at all? Um, but uh, I got those fantastic antlers that she sent me. Um, I've got Elowen, is face up and blushing and, th and things that I want to work on her. And um, I want to finish uh, my... Um, uh, I got that Peabody head, and I'm going to get another pe another seed stall uh, head when she when she releases wall. Um, but uh, I, I'm feeling guilty for not having finished these things, and um, it's like, what? Don't feel guilty. I mean, this these are your projects for this winter. Um, the winter is going to be a bit difficult uh, because I'm not working as much. So you know, like money wise and financial wise, but I'm going to have a, a lot more free time. Um, and so I don't want to just rush through all these projects. I want to enjoy them and relish them and just really enjoy myself. And if I feel like working on one thing rather than another, um, they're my dolls and I can do them however and whatever pace I want. So I was feeling guilty spending all this time on Gehern, um, this weekend sewing him this outfit, but I was like, this is what I was enjoying and this is what I was liking. So that's what I'm going to do. Um... So, uh, let's see. I wanted to show more of the things that, um, so Grievous Girl, she, and she has a state, she has a channel too, which is really great. She just, she posted this super long video, um, I think last week, uh, it's a bit ago, but I, I, I like sewed an entire shirt <laughs> listening to her, um, uh, Grievous Girl and Wishes both made these really long, super long videos talking about their characters and their dolls, and I just loved it. Um, and I worked on sewing while they did that. Um, but so these were uh, these. She Grievous Girl sent these. This this box when I got it um, was very big, and I was like, well, that's pretty big for just a head. And there were all these goodies inside, um, and these are amazing. Look at these, how. Uh, intricately these are made. Um, so these are musical instruments. This one is a bassoon. Um, this one is a, a clarinet. And this one is an oboe. Um, so I was never, uh, I never paid, I never played any wind instruments, but when I was um, a very young girl, I was, um, I took violin for a couple of years. The school that I was at offered it. Um, once we moved, it wasn't we didn't have it anymore, and and I never played it since. But um, basically, we did orchestra stuff. I was very little girl. I was, I mean, that was like was that fourth grade, fifth grade? So very little, you know, like what is that, like eleven or something? I don't know. <laughs> very little girl. Um, but so here, these are just awesome. I'm I love these and. Um, Lear is musically inclined, so some of these might belong to him, um, but uh, they're they're wonderful. 
Um, <laughs> she sent some eyes and really other just really useful uh, stuff. Wigs, um, a couple of wigs that were very cool. <laughs> and this little creepy little Halloween doll. I freaking love her. Isn't she crazy? <laughs> Look at her little feet. Oh my god. She's so creepy and crazy. I love her. Thank you again, Grievous Girl. Thank you so much. Um, oh, I wanted to show... Uh, So I haven't done much more on him. He's got some shoes that he's wearing. And I had kind of been thinking that he was going to possibly be Amergen. These are the horns that, um, uh, these are another pair of horns that Tiffy BJD had sent me. And he claimed them almost immediately. Like they just went right on him. I, I love them on him. But I thought maybe he would be Amergen. And the main reason was because of his height. You know, he's, he's, with all with his extra joints, he's about 50 centimeters. So he's a he's a good head or so taller than my um, MSDs and Laund uh, MSD Alondria, which is a a, um, a lily cat ombre doll. Um, so basically, the height was the only reason that I was even considering that. But in actuality, you know, character wise, Amergen is is probably a very big muscular guy so being lanky like this it really doesn't suit the idea of his character and i do adjust things sometimes um and work with it based on what the doll looks like so we'll see i'm still thinking about that um what i would really like is is a um i think a soul doll veto would be really perfect for an amergen that's what i have in mind but that's going to be have to be a ways off because i um uh, i'm not going to be buying any Dolls. <laughs> See my crossing my fingers. Um, not going to be buying any dolls for the rest of the year. Um, I have a layaway and I need to focus on that. Um, and I'm hoping to have that paid off sooner would be better if I could get some dolls sold. Um, uh, but uh, um, late December is my goal, mid January. And I will bring that special doll home. It has been a grail doll for quite a while now. And I was kind of like, you know, you haven't made any effort to um, procure this doll. Uh, and, but then I, then somebody came to me privately and offered um, to let me purchase their, um, their doll, <laughs> which maybe I'll divulge later what this doll is. Some of you may know, but, uh, um, so there'll be a very special doll coming. Uh, I don't know how this video format is working. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, let's try this view. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to continue to work on sewing and, um, uh, while I blab with you guys, so, um, again, I keep promising to show this outfit a little more, but, uh, the, the shirt that I'm working on is from, if you can see my hand and doll book right here, um, hand and doll sewing book, um, which is a really nice little resource. And oftentimes when I feel like sewing something, I will go and I will look in there just kind of for some inspiration. Um, and, um, I do use the patterns. I change them quite a bit. This is um, the bl the blouse pattern that's in there. Um, I I have changed a lot. I mean, I've added pin tucks and um, uh, some embellishments. <laughs> uh, I made the collar a lot longer and wider. Um, uh, the the um, the cuffs are very much altered. Uh, so I, I do change a lot of things. The, um, the sides here, uh, I, I, I like to put a little split here. Um, I like how that looks. So um, there's a lot of things that I change. And, and what I typically do is I, uh, the patterns are in, if you have this book, you can, you see those. Um, if I'm, so you can see he's a very big doll, of course. He's very big. Uh, and he's even the largest pattern in there. He's, it's not going to fit him, of course. Um, and uh, so what I do is I scan the images into my computer. I have a scanner. Um, I scan them in um, and 
then I um, compile them all, I uh, use Photoshop and I compile them all onto one digital canvas so that um, the proportions are all the same and uh, and then I, based on the measurements of my doll, I go in, I use control L to get the ruler to come up. I, I use Photoshop like CS2 or something, it's, really, it's an old, old version. Um, and which you can actually download for free from their website, but I have used it for many years and um, I don't do a lot of digital art now because of my migraine issues. Um, so I don't do a lot of digital work. I used to spend my entire weekend or days off just working on digital art. It was my passion. Um, and I had to, my passions had to change. I was very devastated for a long time because um, uh, I'm very artistic creative person and I just I have to do something I have to do something and it was very very difficult figuring out uh, what to do so um, dolls dolls have been uh, they saved me really uh, you know uh, just my sense of because um, I just love doing creative things um, and not being able to do those was a very very it was just utterly devastating so um, dolls have been great sewing on this button I kind of lost my train of thought but anyways I I compile I scan in the the patterns I compile them all into one canvas so that they're all proportionate and then I go in and I start changing the size uh, based on the measurements of my doll um, and that gives me kind of a I, and then I print those out I print those out and then that's my pattern um, and then I can work with them and alter them as I as I want to um, and I do a lot of that I print them out and then work with the paper um, I, I have to have the paper and then I size it on the doll and then uh, cut cut it out and even then there's just a lot of adjustments that go on so every piece that I make every time I make something it is made for the doll that I'm working on I mean it's it's custom made for them uh, and things aren't perfect. Uh, I know a lot of people would like me to make things for them, and um, which I find very flattering. But I am such a newbie. I I I flounder. There's lots of imperfections. Um, so, but I figure it doesn't matter. They're my dolls, and so if they don't have absolutely perfect clothes, then that's all right. <laughs> um, but, uh, so anyways, that's kind of how his shirt got made. Um, lots of adjustments after the fact. So, um, it's October, <laughs> uh, and I'm sure a lot of you are aware of that. Um, didn't, didn't escape your notice. But, um, so, I really wanted to do Inktober, uh, which is... Uh, the month of October, you basically to create uh, basically to create a uh, ink drawing um, every day of the month, and I really wanted to to participate. I did participate last year. Um, didn't do every single day. Um, I just that's not something I, I realistically. <laughs> I can't realistically say that I'm going to do anything every single day. Um, that's just asking for trouble. <laughs> I'm going to do this certain thing every single day without fault. Um, I just, I'm not able to <laughs> uh, be that way anymore. But um, I, I did like the first two days <laughs> and basically did some things in my journal um, that's uh, decorating my journal and some of the not, not work that I did in there. But so I'm a little sad uh, that I didn't do that, but at the same time, um, dolls came in that I wanted to work on. The the C doll Peabody took my. T uh, I was really into him. Like just he he. I had to drop everything to work on him. <laughs> I loved him. Uh, so um, those were things. And then Gehern came in and psh, like I'm gonna do anything but work on him. <laughs> if I have any free time, I am working on stuff for him. I just. Uh, I am so much more, are you just like getting a great view of my head? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. 
Um, ho hopefully you can even hear me talking here, but I'm sewing this button on, which is very fascinating. Um, but anyways, yeah, October, Inktober didn't really happen. And I still want to do something like that at, at this point is maybe, maybe doesn't necessarily be an ink drawing, but, um, to draw in a sketchbook and do a drawing in the, in the, in it every single day, do some sort of art. So, um, I do want to do something like that eventually, but like I said, if I'm really interested in something that I want to do at that point, then that's what I'm going to do. Um, this is supposed to be fun. These are my hobbies. Uh, it's not a job, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this might look a little awkward, and it kind of is. <laughs> a lot of times, though, I do like to sew buttons and snaps on while the doll is wearing it, because I feel like I can judge a lot more where it should be and how it should be. Um, but as you can see, this is getting a little bit awkward from this angle, but I'm almost done. <laughs> almost done. But, uh, so, um, Gehern's face up, uh, and the body, or the, uh, the blushing that I did to match the resin, um, it took days. It was this very slow process of building up the color. Um, the thing that really took a lot of time, which, which was passive, I guess, but basically having to wait, um, for sealant to dry. And I really wanted to give it a chance to set up. Um, before I added another layer on, uh, really wanted it to cure, I guess, uh, is what I would say. So, um, let me see here. Let me see about adjusting this. Okay, well, let's try this. So, Gehern got a new outfit that I worked on, uh, this weekend, um, and uh, so lots of sewing was happening. We got uh, some pants and a shirt. Uh, the pants are this uh, new pattern that I've been working with. It's um, the 18th century kind of style combined with like a jean style. I did forget to put pockets in the back. Um, let's see, this shirt up. <laughs> so you can see. Um, but I did, uh, I did this extra, added these, um, eyelets in so that it, that it could be kind of cinched up and I kind of liked how that looked. Nope, you, the light is not great, is it? Um, it's got pockets in the front, pockets in the front. Uh, it's got, um, the split legs, which helps to go over his really big legs <laughs> and, um, a tie. So, uh, you might notice something else <laughs> going on here. And um, so basically he has a cod piece <laughs> uh, or kind of like a little special pouch here for his extra leg. Um, I have never, never sewn for a male doll that has such an issue. <laughs> um, this was... Um, this is lined, um, and this is actually a real working button because uh, I do find those to be very secure, and then there's some snaps down here, so these are fake buttons. Uh, but this is lined. Um, this is all lined in here. Uh, but yes, so I won't... You can see pictures of Dalshi bodies on their website, but um, he does not have the newer body, um, which has basically um, a jointed, articulated penis <laughs> man part um and you can remove it and then they have like a little cup that you can put on there which smooths over in pants um and um he does not have that he's the older body and uh, people i've heard people complain about this for a very long time um about 
male about doll she dolls in particular that they are so hard to sew pants for and it's such an issue and i just thought that this was all like exaggeration like whatever i haven't had any problem sewing pants for all my boy dolls and it's just not even an issue um uh but yeah <laughs> so i tried to make a pattern like i usually do um and big problems big big problems uh i'm definitely going to have to change so this was something that i jury rigged um you can see for one it got these extra panels inside here um and there's actually a little extra panel there um i should take these off to show you that to show better but then yep there is a dick pouch <laughs> um and i could probably uh, here I'm filling them up. I could probably make it a little smaller than it is. It was kind of this thing that I did. It was like 2 a.m. Like literally I get into these sewing frenzies and I just sew, sew, sew. And it was like 2 a.m. and started running into this problem. I'm like, what am I going to do? And so I just kind of did this. <laughs> um, so, um, but look at the pockets and the rivets. <laughs> so, um, I spent so much time on these pants, like literally like an entire day. Um, so he's wearing them. I don't care. And <laughs> in photos, it isn't that bad. I don't think, um, I showed some pictures on Instagram. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm okay with it. And then the next pair of pants that I make for him, um, will take some different engineering and I will take certain anatomy into account. Um, or maybe I will just make pants with cod pieces. Um, I did research some cod pieces and um, like I said, I could make it a little more elegant, but um, maybe that'll be my new thing. <laughs> uh, but it sure did make me appreciate my long soul body, which is one of my favorite bodies. It really is a, it's a great body um, and uh, poses so well uh, and very just sturdy. And whatever you pose, you put him in, he just holds it. Um, but he has a magnetic removable penis and, um, when I was making him pants, I was like, oh, it's kind of in the way I just took it off and it, it it's never had anything put back on. <laughs> so I'm a mean lady, but I can't tell you how close I was when I was 2 a.m. and struggling with this, like, how, maybe I'll cut it off. <laughs> uh, I had ideas of like, I didn't, wasn't going to like sand it off and maybe like cut it off and like adjust it. And I'm like, no, don't do that. You got to work with it. Herla would be really upset and your hern probably wouldn't be too happy either. So I didn't do that. <laughs> um, so, but I am, uh, I am actually really happy with them. I like the color. I like how they complement his skin tone. Um, I think, I think he looks good in green. Um, I did want to add some red, uh, and, um, red is kind of a theme for him uh his original design is a deer um and uh he has uh like a red patch on his chest of red fur um so i won't i'm not going to paint red fur but eventually i do want to do um i had the idea of a um a tattoo that i wanted to do uh with irish elk antlers that kind of uh, covered his chest and wrapped around his shoulders and I still may do that um, this was going to be my way of incorporating that antler um, into his design because I didn't have antlers for him um, at the time and now I do so I'm still I still may do that um, uh, but um, uh, for now we'll see we'll see um, I I'm actually really interested in bloody, body blushing him because um, the resin is just so beautiful. I think it, it would be a lot of fun to body blush him. Um, so the shirt, this is the shirt that I finish, uh, kind of the base base design uh, pattern I got from the Hannon doll sewing book with lots of adjustments. Um, and it's a striped material, which kind of, um, so you can't see the pin tucks as well. This came unsnapped. Where did it go? He is such a big doll. I love him. He's very snuggly. <laughs> um, so one of the things I considered doing was just like gluing the antlers on and um, we'll see, but he's so, I just love holding him. I'll just sit and like hold him while I, I'll be doing some doodling in my journal. I'll just hold him in my lap. Um, I love that about SD dolls. I, um, I love their snuggliness um, and some are more snuggly than others and he's got good snuggly factor. Um, I think him 
my Sion, uh, and, um, Stuart, my, um, my Chiwu, um, and actually Hurla when she, especially when she's not wearing her horns, <laughs> um, very snugly, just, they just cradle in your kind of like a baby, but anyways, I, I dig this. Um, so a shirt, uh, it's got these pin tucks. See, there's two here, two pin tucks here, and only one on this side, but it's meant to close in the front. Um, and I was going to add, um, I, I like to make these, they do take a long time because you basically hand make them. You're, um, it's a, it's not embroidery, it's like not work. You just, you make this, you tie this loop, you make these loops and then you do a blanket stitch. So it takes a long time to make each loop. Um, but it's a, tradi it's a traditional method of doing that. Um, and I really like the end result and how it looks. I guess I could go in there with some other cording material or anything, but I just really like how it looks when I do that. Um, and every time I do it and take the time, I always, I, I always glad that I did because it does look so nice. Um, but, uh, the, it doesn't, I just didn't really like the way it looked when it was overlapping like this. I liked it to be like a little open a little bit. I just thought that that looked visually nicer. Um, so uh, I things that I did that were different from the pattern um, was this. So this whole front part and the pin tucks were all things that I did. Um, the collar is adjusted quite a bit. And the way the collar is sewn on, um, the Hand and Doll Sewing Book, um, it's, I guess I would say it's doll sewing. Uh, and so she does things, there's some gluing that she does and um, kind of unfinished seams like at the collars, the way she sews the collars, it's like, if you look at it inside, you could, you would see how unfinished it is. Um, and probably, especially for sewing for little Blythe dolls and stuff, uh, you know, you, you kind of almost have to, the tinier you sew, uh, but um, I don't prefer that. I, I like my clothes to look nice inside and out, and I don't always achieve that as well as I would like to. Um, but so the collar is finished inside with with turned in edges. Uh, so it takes a lot more time. It, I, I usually hand sew this part um, so that uh, I don't really, I don't like to go in with a top stitch. I like, I like how that looks. So I did do a top stitch around the edge. I like that. Um, and the cuffs are the same. I, I really didn't like the kind of unfinished way the cuffs were done in the pattern. Um, so, um, and I didn't add the lace to this shirt. Uh, I, did, I asked Gern, because we have been talking now, <laughs> which is kind of weird because he's not actually my character, but I feel like, um, I just, uh, it's, it's really fun. Um, I feel like I'm getting to know him and he's like talking to me a little bit about, uh, but I asked him if he wanted lace, um, like I did uh, the shirt the, that I did for, um, for Ben, my, uh, people 60 Karsh. Um, but, and Gurren did not want any lace. I said, well, I could get just some really pretty brown lace or gold. No, no lace. <laughs> so he, he was against lace. Um, so ruffles and lace, I think, are not his thing. Um, other things that I did with this pattern is I put, uh, I, I made a split. Oh, I need to iron that. That got ironed with a crease. Um, so this is, and I double turned the edge so that it looks nice. I didn't double turn these edges. Um, which I kind of wish now I did, but I did go over them with glue. And the way the pattern, the way the fabric is, it, it still, it looks nice, I think. You think you can't really, you can't tell that that is not a finished edge. Maybe a little bit, but I put, I put the fabric glue, um, what is it called? This stuff. Freychick, there's lots of different brands, but Freychick, uh, I use that more and more, um, and I like that. Um, so that was one of my, I didn't finish those edges. This is rolled under hem, so rolled under hem, uh, so that it's completely finished and there's no strings kind of hanging. Um, I would like to, I still haven't used my serger much. I'm still kind of figuring that out because, um, it makes such a large, it's so wide. Um, and so I want to, doll clothes need to be. And I did make this originally with pretty wide um, seams in here with the idea that I would go over it with the serger, but 
it bunched it up too much, especially in the armpit and stuff. So I had to trim it back and then I put fray check on it. And I, this material just really reacts well with that. So I think that that worked out all right. Um, so yeah, I'm really, I'm a lot more happy with him now. I think you can tell, uh, my, my last video, uh, I had just finished his face up. Um, I hadn't finished it actually. So I, I did put some gloss, um, on his eyes and lips. Which I don't know how well it's showing up. But it, it, to me it really helped make it look a lot nicer. Um, and I might go back and add a little more color to his lips at some point. Um, so one of my concerns, you know, with so many layers over so many days, I, I know I tried to give the sealant time to cure before I added another layer. But we'll see how it goes, because um, it was a lot of layers, and my fear is that it may start to chip or flake. Um, so we'll see. Time will tell. Um, but uh, if it's successful and it's hardy, even if it lasts just a couple of years, that's pretty good, I think. Um, but uh, um, we'll see. Um, it's a new another skill in my repertoire, perhaps. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just, I'm, I'm, he's so beautiful. His hands, look at these gorgeous, gorgeous hands. I have to show, I have to show his hands. They're, he just poses so beautifully too. Uh, the extra joints, uh, I, when I first, firstly, when I first pulled him out of the box too, he, his stringing was a little loose, um, which is good for shipping. It, should, it probably shouldn't be too tight. Uh, and I tightened it and that did help. So but after just, I'd gotten him strung a little tighter, uh, I, things start, I, I liked him better, um, which I, I did that right away. And he poses really nice. He holds a lot of poses. He just kind of falls into these really elegant poses. So, um, and he's not one that I can just pick up and like, stand up like some of like the Sion doll. I just straighten his legs and I just set him and he'll stand. Doesn't do that because of these joints that, you know, you do have to adjust them a little bit. Um, but if you do that, he does stand pretty good. Uh, and um, right now he's wearing these big boots, which does help. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can even see him. Uh, make you guys all really dizzy um but any he, he doesn't just like to just stand there you know he has to kind of put a little swank into it so <laughs> uh but i'm i'm uh, as you can see i'm a lot more pleased and happy with him now um really happy so i'm really glad uh that i did that um i sold his initial body that i got in him was an impel doll body um, and it just never, just didn't feel right. Uh, and so I sold it and, um, because doll she bodies, these were on sale. They were, you know, $700 body that was on sale for 500, something like that. So it, it basically was a saving of like $200, which, so, I, um, I put a body on layaway this summer and put his body, his simple doll body up for sale. And, um, when it sold, I was able to pay off his layaway earlier, and it did take, it didn't take that long. Uh, I paid off his layaway in August, and they hadn't started making him yet, um, and I changed my order to tan at that point. So they, they started making him in August, August, September, October, so not even three months, really. It was pretty quick. Um, it was pretty quick. So I can't complain. Um, it wasn't the, the you know, year-long wait that people had um, in the past with some of the sculpts. So um, his eyes, um, I don't hate them, uh, but I these are eyes that I made and I used a red uh, Sorosky, I can say that wrong, crystal for the iris. And it does sparkle really nicely and I do like that, but I just don't think it works for him um and uh i think a black or darker pupil would just really make his face a lot more 
realistic. It's kind of like I painted him realistic and then he's got almost these kind of cartoony looking eyes is the way I think about it. Um, so um, I should make some, but I've been really wanting to try some miracle, not miracle, um, masterpiece eyes. They're, they're soft glass uh, eyes and that that means that they're they're made out of silicone and they actually their website's really interesting they use medical grade silicone um, to make these eyes and um, so they're very different they're soft they kind of push into the eye well and shape to it so I wanted to give them a try and I went ahead and ordered a pair from was a bit of splurge I shouldn't be doing that right now but I really wanted to try them out and I wanted something special for him um, so we'll try those out when those come um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just very, very happy with him. I just keep saying that. <laughs> I'm very happy with him. Um, I'm happy with how, how, how he looks and interacts with Herla. I think that they just, um, are very, very nice together. The aesthetics of the doll she body, um, just kind of the curviness um, of the it. The aesthetics of the doll she body, uh, just seem to really complement the twiggling, um, they're both very, I don't know, I, I guess I would just say elegant bodies. They're very elegant bodies that can pose, do amazing poses, elegant poses. Uh, and um, so they just complement each other so well. A lot of times I'll just kind of mess with them and I love it. <laughs> I love how they look together. Um, so very happy. Um, okay guys, I think this video is way long enough, <laughs> so I'm going to end it here. Uh, if you stuck with it, thank you. Um, and I always appreciate all the comments and I, I've been trying to go through and answer them or address them in videos. Um, but if you've made a comment and I haven't directly responded to you, I am so sorry. I, I, I appreciate so much the effort that you went through to even make the comment. Uh, and so I, I can't promise that I will get back and answer everybody I I would like to um but I have to I do have to limit the amount of time that I'm doing activities like that because of uh, my migraines and my hands so um it's one of those things that can kind of aggravate it but I like being social and I like talking with people so um I I don't want to not do those things and and I like talking with you guys so thank you so much for putting up with me <laughs> All right. Uh, take care. I hope you are all having a great Monday and that it's treating you kindly. And um, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.